Hey guys, it is me, Kevin, here again. I'd like to share with you 25 items I sold on eBay. So I'd like to share my numbers here at the beginning. I spent $88 on these 25 items and they sold for a grand total of $1,355. I'll break it down a little bit further. That's an average buy cost of $350 and an average sale price of $54. This Oscar De La Renta scarf sold for $55 plus shipping. Got these Aldo suede pumps. They sold for $18.80 plus shipping. Uh, yeah, my first time picking up women's shoes, so I did not know what I was doing. I think it's going to fit into a regional rate A box. Got the priority mail shoe box. And I'm just gonna put a little spacer between the two. Got a Stauskas jersey, it sold for $23 uh, plus shipping. It's actually purple, but it looks blue. Got this really beat up Tonka, it sold for $20 plus shipping. I think it got it in a lot of stuff. I think there were a buck a piece or two bucks, something like that. So there it is. There's space on the top. It is a recycled Huggies box, unfortunately. So here we have a pair of diesel jeans. I picked them up for, I think, like two bucks. At a garage sale, sold for 60 plus shipping. I'm gonna try to fit it in to the padded flat rate. This is a new Super Mario Bros. 2 for 3DS, sold for $21.75 plus shipping. Super Mario 64 DS, sold for $22 plus shipping. Got a sale here. It's a pair of vintage Red Wings. They sold for $100 plus shipping. So I'm going to be using two of these priority mailboxes. And then uh, I'm going to fit in like that. Create a little a bigger box that will actually fit it. So when you get it cut apart, it's got this sticky side. So you can just place it over and then... Uh, yeah, just fold in all the flaps. Just tape it up. This, um, this anthropology jacket sold for $100 plus shipping. It's got a cool back on it. It's like a sweater. Um, I spent 10 bucks on it. Two hats that sold. This one sold for $18 plus shipping. This one here sold for $24 plus shipping. I'm just going to be using the 8x8 like eBay boxes that you can get with your coupon. They seem to work really well. I'm just going to do a bubble on the front and one on the inside. So there's still a lot of space, so I'm just going to have to cut it down a little bit here. There you have it. Ships out first class, 10 ounces. This guy sold for $20.50 plus shipping. So we've got another $20.50 plus shipping. Picked up this leather jacket for $3 at a garage sale, and it sold for $40 plus shipping. Um, it did have some tears to the lining, but I disclosed all that. and try to fit it in a flat rate, medium flat rate, but we'll see. So in there... Got one of those Sony Handycam with the night shot. Sold for $130 plus shipping, plus it has all these little accessories and stuff. So that took it out. That's what it looks like. It has the night shot. Really nice shape. These two tiki bowls, they sold for $104 plus shipping. And I spent, I think, $2 on them.
Here we have a Giants hoodie. I think it's a Nike. Yeah, so it's sold for $22 plus shipping. If you guys are enjoying this, would you do me a favor? Would you hit that like button? I would appreciate it. Thank you. So this set of irons, they sold for $160 plus shipping. I picked them up for $15 a while ago. I was trying to get um, $200. Um, they're Nike, like $550, I think. Anyways, this is a box that you can get at a sports good store, golf store. And uh, I'm going to pack it up. This is my first time packing up golf clubs, so let's see what I come up with. Probably just go to my, I'm going to start with my go-to method. I usually just wrap stuff and then bubble wrap stuff. And they're clubs, so they're fairly durable. And then throw them in the box. So there's the seven clubs all wrapped up. Alright, so now I've got these bundles where they're together. And in this configuration, so they're kind of staggered. I think that's how I will, uh, I don't know, prevent rubbing against each other and, I don't know, multitude maybe make it a stronger unit. <clears throat> so that was dumb. We've got bundles of three now and then a single golf club. So we're going to just put them in like flipped. So there's the golf. The grips are up here, and then on the ones below, the grips are down here. And then just put the last one up on top. And since there's room, I'm going to put some more bubble wrap on the bottom, and then some more on the top, and we'll call it a day. Here we have a... DVD VCR combo by Magnavox. It sold for $63 plus shipping. Um, I've shipped similar items like receivers and stuff. This is the going to be my first VCR. So this is sort of how I store most uh, electronic units. I, you know, wrap up the cord, put a little bubble wrap behind it. Now I'm going to stretch wrap the rest for packing. Oh, and I have this box that the neighbors put together like an Ikea um, dresser. So I'm going to use that to make a shell. So what I like about the stretch wrap is that you can start taping things to the item itself. Put this little piece of cardboard to protect like where the cord is coming out, that it doesn't get bent too, too much. And then just a little extra reinforcement around the front and back before wrapping the whole thing. So there you have it. The whole thing, a couple layers of bubble wrap each direction. So this piece of cardboard kind of fit perfectly, even has this little uh, edge to it, a little corner. So I've got some little creases, and then it's just going to fold over with one extra flap on the other side. And these can fold in as well. So there it is in a shell. Um, now comes double boxing. Yep, it's a lot of work. <laughs> the next step I use is pool noodles and a bread knife. I'm going to leave a little bit on the ends as that protection. So the pool noodles I get at the 98 cent store for a dollar. And yeah, just keep them on hand. Cut them into quarters here. Tape them to the box. There you go. It's kind of sitting in these little grooves, so it's going to be covering the edges. Of course, this little overhang is going to fold in a little bit. All right, so there we go. Got it. Uh, all the corners are protected. A few extra pieces. Just threw them along here. So I could have probably just bubble wrapped this again, but this is just kind of a method that I've been using lately. And we're done. I had to make these little cap ends for the box because um, yeah there wasn't enough there wasn't a big enough piece of cardboard but it doesn't look as pretty but I think this actually makes it stronger like the corners have even more cardboard on the on the edges so that's it 
this little piranha thing sold for 35 pretty good plus shipping bought a lot of like money and coins didn't spend the time to look stuff up um coin anyways i put everything up on auction the little coin lots didn't sell but the bills did I sold for 26 and i think this is what people were interested in the um deutsch marks so now i know sold the game boy player disc with the slip cover sold for 70 dollars and shipping You'll sometimes find Game Boys with the player on the bottom. The disc is almost always missing, so these are necessary in order to get that thing to work. Sold this pair of Summit Series North Face Pants, Gore-Tex. Sold for $95. These Ferragamos here sold for $35. they are not in great shape. shipping but still got life in them nice shoes picked up this little reel and a lot um, spent $22 for a bunch of stuff and this sold for $70 plus shipping so yeah guys I'm gonna be releasing more videos like this on a regular basis They're gonna be coming out soon um, feel free to subscribe if you like this style of content hopefully I'll see you soon have a wonderful day.